Hi everyone, welcome again in this Power Platform Jenny AI series. In today's video, I am going to show you how we can implement REG kind of architecture here, where you can query your uh, own or personal document and can get answers using LLM. So let's start. For that, you first need to go to make.powerautomate.com and then you need to go to AI Hub. There you need to go to AI Prompt and select Create Text with GPT using a prompt. So here you can see some examples, example prompt, etc. So how uh, we are going to implement this, we would like to um, enter some question or query during runtime and then would like um, our flow to read the content from OneDrive. Now we want to pass the context uh, which is there in my uh, OneDrive file. So maybe let's just remove uh, everything else and say Please refer the following text for the context. Okay. So obviously this is not a good prompt. Um, I just want to show you how you can leverage uh, this and can implement this uh, RAG or RAG kind of uh, architecture here. So our context is again a dynamic value. So let's add one value and let's name it file content so i think uh, now we should be good let's save our prompt it might take some time so now our prompt is saved now we will create a flow to use this prompt so we create this instant cloud flow We'll trigger this manually, we name it Q and A. So obviously uh, I need to have my input first. So I will say add input and that will be my question. So I will say query. And then I need to read my content from my OneDrive. So here I'll be using my personal OneDrive, not OneDrive for business. And it will be get file content. So I just select this file and it will be a kind of hard coded path at the moment, but this should be actually a dynamic path. So we are good here. Now we want to use our prompt. So we'll add an action, AI Builder, and it will be our create text with GPT using a prompt. So here we will select our prompt. And based on our uh, defined dynamic values there uh, or variables there, it will ask for those entries. So our input text will be our query that we will enter while running our flow. So this is our query. Input file content will be file content that we have read in previous step. Now I will be sending this output to my email inbox and for that I say outlook Let's 
send an email and I put my text here I think now we should be good and let's save our flow and run it. So based on this uh, context or content, uh, I might ask a question like, what is the title of my essay? So. Let's say, what is the title of the essay? Let's run the flow. So as you see here, right, uh, this is my answer. It is saying the title of the essay is this, which is correct. And then it has given some additional text. So we can modify our prompt and say, do not uh, add any additional text, do not explain it. So this additional text will not be there. So you can modify, you can do uh, prompt engineering there and uh, you can get the desired uh, output or the output in your desired format. Now let's ask maybe one more question. Uh, for example, who is the innovator of printing press, if you see. So let's run this one more time. Printing press. So this is executed successfully. Let's go back to our inbox. And you see it has given the right answer. So this is how you can leverage custom prompt and can implement RAG architecture. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for your time.